Hey guys, good morning and welcome back again to your Run Academy Need English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, few days back I had posted one strategy video wherein I had given you the chapter-wise most important topics from the subject physics and from the subject chemistry. And in this particular session, since a lot of students asked for the most important topics from the subject biology and that's why I'm here in front of you all. People, the topics which I'm going to give you in the today's session prioritize them the maximum. I'm not telling you to avoid all the other topics, but the topics which I'm going to give you in this particular session, these are almost some 60 topics, prioritize them right now. Because all these topics are going to be asked 100% when it comes to the NEET 2025 examination. And people, you know, biology being your scoring subject, you can easily score 340 plus when it comes to the subject biology. So, for that, you cannot skip a single topic out of the topics which I'm going to give you right now. And at the same time, the PDF of this particular session I'll be sharing on my Telegram. If you are not the part of my Telegram, be the part of my Telegram right now, which is Vaseem But Chemistry Official. Right, I'll be sharing the handwritten PDF of this particular session in my Telegram right after this particular session. Yeah? So people, let's exactly have a look on the most important topics which have been frequently asked I'll say every year these topics are asked when it comes to the NEET examination from your subject biology, which is definitely your favorite one, yeah? All right, let's have a look on the first topic. It is cell division. Then you have got gametogenesis. You have got hormones. You have got human genome project, microbes, light reaction, dark reaction, T3C4 cycle, PCR, gel electrophoresis, right? Similarly, if you look at the other topics, you have got BT toxin, you have got population interaction, Evolution of man, Hardy Weinberg equilibrium, homologous, analogous, HDAC, causes of biodiversity loss. You have got DNA fingerprinting, you have got R DNA technology. And when it comes to the other topics, what are exactly the other topics? Have a look. You have got mechanism of muscle contraction, you have got LG, you have got disorders of human physiology, you have got enzymes, PS1, PS2, cyclic, non cyclic, photophosphorylation, you have got chemiosmotic hypothesis. You have got plant hormones, right? And similarly, my dear students, you have got transport of gases, growth rates, uh, secondary growth, uh, apomixis. You have got development of male and female gametophyte, no impulse conduction, urine formation, mechanism of hormonal action. And similarly, if you look at the other topics, you have got nodal tissue, cardiac cycle, clotting, blood group, ECG, muscle types, bioreactors, operons, genetic disorders, drugs, immunity, antibodies, ART, contraceptive methods, morphology examples, animal kingdom, RQ value, mechanism of breathing, capacity, ecological pyramids, and similarly, the last ones which are mentioned over here, population growth curves, tissue culture and MOET, DNA structure, mutations, and sex determination. Again, I am repeating the same thing. These are some 60 topics which are every year asked in your NEET examination. So, again, this year also, these topics will be for sure asked. But, apart from these topics, whatever topics are left in your biology, I'm again repeating the same thing. Do not skip those topics. I'm just telling you to prioritize these topics at this particular moment. Because, my dear students, you know, you just have got some, like, uh, 55 days, I believe, left for your NEET 2025 examination. And it is the high time to mobilize these 55 days in the proper direction. You should exactly know what to do and what not to do in these upcoming 55 days so as to score really high uh, for your NEET 2025 examination. So people, in these 55 days, try to do as many revisions as possible, particularly when it comes to the subject biology and inorganic chemistry. Lot of revisions are needed at this point of time. Do not, uh, I mean, do not solve some new questions right now, okay? Just Follow the same study material which you have been solving from past one, two years. If you have solved the material once, solve the same material again. Solve the same material again. Try to, uh, try to write as many mock tests as possible, guys. Because by writing the mock tests only, you'll understand the exam culture, you'll understand your weaknesses, and eventually you'll act upon your weaknesses. Perfect? So try to utilize these 55 days in the proper direction. Perfect? And... The ones who have not watched the most important topics of the subject physics and chemistry, you can go into the video section wherein you can check those two videos wherein I have given you the most important topics of your physics and chemistry. Prioritize them also, right? And these are your 
short short questions of your biology perfect and prioritize these topics too right so my dear students this was a quick video which i wanted to make because a lot of students have been uh, i mean they they were texting me from past couple of days uh, to make a similar kind of video which i had made for physics and chemistry that is the reason why i am here in front of you so i believe you all are going to follow all the things which i told you in this particular session on priority basis because again i'm repeating if you are going to work hard for these upcoming 55 days you do not have to work hard throughout your life but if you are not going to work hard for these 55 days you will have to work hard throughout your life take care god bless you all and love you all bye bye